As more cyclists hop on their bikes and then hop on the roads, it's becoming more and more critical for drivers and bicyclists to accommodate each other on the streets. That's the focus of this month's Keep Louisville Safe. We thought it was really important that we send this message out again. Uh, first of all, that cyclists, just like motorists, vehicle motorists, both have privileges to use the roadway. And the importance of them being respectful of each other. Uh, from a police perspective, one of the things that we're in the process of doing is creating a three to five minute video that every officer in the department will uh, view. And it will talk about all the nuances, not just the general things that we all know about bicyclists and the rights and what they can and can't do, but all the fine, the fine laws as it relates to bicyclists, uh, as it relates to their responsibility uh, when they're on the roadway, but also as it relates to their vehicle motorist responsibility uh, when bicyclists are on the roadway. So as a department, we're going to do a better job at educating our officers, raising the priority that we need to use when it comes to dealing with motorists and, and bicyclists to ensure their safety, uh, and either pass out more warnings or pass out more citations on a part of both of those uh, individuals or those parties to, to, to get everybody's attention because we've got to continue to work together uh, because I think we're only going to see more cyclists during these economic times uh, versus fewer cyclists. And if we don't continue to hammer this message home, I, I'm afraid that we're going to continue to have the accidents uh, at a rate that's totally unacceptable to our community. Mayor, you're an avid bicyclist yourself. Why is this an important issue for you? You know, we're at a point where this community is seeing every day more people bicycling to work, bicycling to run an errand, bicycling to school, uh, and then those of us that are just bicyclists for recreation experience, we're seeing more and more folks get on those bikes. And therefore, two things have to happen. The people that are riding the bikes have to understand the rules of the road. They have to understand that you don't ride on a sidewalk. They have to understand you ride with traffic, not against traffic. They have to understand that they have a legal responsibility to stop at stoplights and stop at red lights. So they have to learn their, their responsibility as a bicyclist. And we have several bicycle clubs and organizations in town that with a couple of hours uh, of, the, of time, they can take you through all of the requirements, legal, uh, et cetera, so that you're a better bicyclist and, and, and handle the sharing of the road in a more positive way. Having said that, those of us that drive cars also have to understand that we have a responsibility to treat bicyclists as you would any other moving vehicle. And that means you have to give them uh, space when you're gonna go around them. And that means you've got to watch when you're making a right turn if they're on the right side. And that means that when you're getting out of a car that you parked on the side of a road that has a bike lane, you need to look in your rearview mirror before you open the door. I mean, it, it is a shared responsibility. And the problem is, is that although it is shared, when an accident occurs, all that steel in a car against a, 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 bike, a bicyclist with a helmet, we hope, has a helmet, uh, the bicyclist will always lose. And so, uh, People have to concentrate on what it is to drive safely, what it is to be a good driver in terms of interacting with all that's going on around you. Stay off your cell phone and keep an eye on the road. Watch for pedestrians and be careful with bicyclists. But bicyclists have to also understand they have a responsibility too to abide by the law and to understand the rules. You don't take five bicyclists and ride them next to each other on a, on a road. It says two, and that's it, two, so uh, would ride abreast of each other. So it's those kinds of rules and those kinds of responsibilities that's going to get us through this situation. Recently, we've had several pedestrians hit, simply because people at busy intersections are trying to make a light. And, you know, if the light, if you're the pedestrian and the, and the light turns and it says you can walk, the person who's driving up is going to take a right into your uh, walking area you know, if they're trying to make the light, they have to wait, await the pedestrian. The pedestrian has the right of way. We've had three accidents in the last week and a half where people were just trying to make the light, didn't even spend time, two of them were on cell phones, didn't even spend time looking to the right as they were making a right where an individual was properly crossing the street. So those are the kinds of things that, um, I mean, we're having more and more incidents of people running red lights with their cars because they're thinking about other things or they're doing other things. You know, we have to abide by the laws and we have to abide by the rules. And with that, 
comes an organized society that is safe and enjoys driving and enjoys walking and enjoys bicycling. And a lot of that is going to have to be education and a message that's repeated over and over, which is why we're And we're, we're very PSAs. fortunate. With a few extra bucks, we're going to be running some PSAs that we have made with the uh, Chief White as the star. Mm -hmm. And he's explaining to people the, the responsibilities that the bicyclists have and the responsibilities that uh, car dri automobile drivers have. Um, so we're trying to educate. But at some point, we're going to have to start increasing our citation capacity to let folks know that this is really serious. And, and, and not just when, when there's an accident that occurs and everybody stops and says we need to do something about it. We need to do something about it now. Each of us take personal responsibility to handle our vehicles, to ride our bikes, and to walk in a pedestrian positive way and safe way to ensure that we have a hometown that we can be proud of and feel safe in as we're moving around. To get some of those safety tips about biking and walking safely in our community, you can go to our website, louisvilleky.gov. You can check out those seven different PSAs we have to offer as well by going to the Bike Louisville page on our website. When we come back, a few of the questions that you have for Mayor Abramson.